Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the Planetarium May Studio Calico Kit and I'm just showing you some of the stuff. Here's a lawn fawn stamp and the dies. Here are some of the stuff that came in this month's kit. I still have quite a bit of stuff even though this is layout 16 um, using the Planetarium Kit and it took me an hour and 40 minutes to complete. And the cameras are from last month's kit and the chevron and everything are from this month's kit. And then I took out a couple of frames from Maggie Holmes from Crate Paper. And this is the Lucky Charms paper, my f one of my favorite papers. I mean, this is the Ellie Studio and this one is the Lucky Charm. Those are my two favorite papers in the whole kit. So I'm going to use them both on the same page. And then I used the die cut that I had made for last page and I didn't end up using. And I'm going to scrapbook three photos. And it is of my oldest daughter when we were on the trip. We had like a wild life, wild life that would just come right up to us. Even that squirrel, he was eating out of their hands. And then there was bunnies and, and they were just around the, the cabin all the time. So the squirrel came right up to her and I was inside and she started, you know, screaming, Mom, <laughs> come and take pictures. So I, I ran out and I took a few pictures. So I thought I would uh, scrapbook those. And I'm going to use some of that simple stories paper too. Um, the grid paper. And I'm going to use that for the journaling. And also I'm going to use that Love You to the Stars and Pat back <laughs> and it is also a Lucky Charms paper and it is one of my fa favorites also. I think those three papers were my favorite papers in the whole kit so I want to make sure I had them all on one page and even the Ellie Studio I think I only have a strip about two or three inches long now that's almost using the whole paper. So I cut down the photos approximately two and a quarter by six. I didn't touch the length and I'm going to put two in one frame and then one in the other with the journaling and now I'm going through all my stuff. I'm going through the digital prints and I'm going to go through my stickers and the Amy Tangerine and the Lucky Charms and a lot of people ask like how do I decide what to put in the layering well that's what I do once I get get it to the spot I know the papers I know the photos then I go through all the stuff that I had taken out I take out everything that coordinates so everything that matches or goes with the layout I take it out it doesn't mean that I'm going to use it it just at least it's right there in my face kind of thing and then I try to figure out where I can put everything. So I'm going to take out a whole bunch of stickers. One of them is going to be a flower sticker. There's going to be one that looks like a speech bubble that says laugh more. It's above the photos that are in the yellow um, the yellow Polaroid frame. Ooh, I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> And um, and then I cut a, a piece of that pattern paper too that I put above and below the strip, the Ellie Studio strip. And of course I, t I kept that die cut out that I had stitched that last layout and it didn't coordinate. Well, it coordinates with this one because it is that teal color so it works out perfectly. So I'm going to use it on that page. And the red that I use for the heart is almost like a pink. So it's going to really go well with this page. And then I took out some clouds from the Amy Tangerine sticker book. And then I wanted to use, um, I had a few people ask uh, to make die cuts with the cuddle bug. So this stamp set is just perfect because it comes with the dies. So I'm going to stamp three speech bubbles. I'm going to stamp the speech bubble in the tide pool blue and then I'm going to stamp the sayings in pale tomato. 
and then I took what I took out one of those stickers and it's got all those triangles on it and I'm going it's quite a it was about three inches wide so I'm going to cut it in three different cuts so that I can put it in each cluster so then it brings those colors with the cluster and I just found where those strips were so colorful I just wanted to bring more color in in some of the embellishment places too and and then I cut out there was it was one of the strips that was at the bottom of a page like a branding strip and one of them said the sweetest the other one said so cute and right now I didn't detail cut around them but I'm going to and then I'm going to staple them to each frame and it kind of works out good because those frames already have you know some different things on it so I thought it would work out good and then now I'm taking out those stamps <clears throat> and I'm figuring how I could make my own embellishments using the stamps and I'm going to use one that I'm going to put one of each little birds in it and the other one I'm going to put the word hello and then the smaller one I'm going to put a heart in it and I could have made it so it was 3d but this time around I'm just going to stamp directly on the pattern paper and then the next time I'm going to build onto the die cut so at this point I believe I walked away and it's just going to give me a bit of time to remind you that I have a contest or a giveaway going on on my YouTube channel. It's about two or three videos past and it says guidelines for the giveaway. And the one before that is uh, the prize and it tells you exactly what you need to do. And one of them is join my Facebook group. And the reason being is it's so much fun because everybody is sharing their layouts and it's just amazing. The the amount of talent that is is on that Facebook group and everybody's sharing and it, it's just motivating each other to get, try to get some pages done. And if you want to see some still pictures, I upload them all at the Facebook group and also at Two Peas in a Bucket and Studio Calico. And you just look in the members gallery under Nicole Jones 911 and I have some still pictures loaded there. And I am going to now stamp those speech bubbles and again I'm going to stamp them in the tide pool blue and pale tomato and the nice thing about that stamp set is it also comes with the die to cut it out and I like it because it's empty in the middle so it's really easy to line them up I really love my MFT dies and I had come up with a way to try to line them up and I you're going to see me take out a piece of vellum which I don't end up using but next time if I use MFT dies I'll let you guys know what I thought maybe might work to try to line up those dies so now I'm going to put some ATG on those frames and I'm going to try to line up the photo and I found the best way was just to flip the frame over and then add the pictures to it and the journaling and at first I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna try and center it and then I realized that no I need to put it right to the edge so that both photos can fit as much as possible and you can still see the squirrel in each photo and at this point I had used my tiny attacher and added the staples to those little flags I guess or those two little die cuts that I had cut out of that branding strip and now I'm feeling good with how everything is so I'm going to start gluing everything down I'm going to use my ATG and my quick dry adhesive from Scotch and again there's that's how I do it I just so okay the recording stopped so all I was saying was I just take a whole bunch of stuff anything that coordinates with the page or matches or you know goes with the page and then I have it all on my on my area and then I start 
usually with a tag, some pattern papers, and then, you know, I cut stuff in two or three pieces so I can put it in each cluster. And then it kind of comes together. And then I just kind of make sure, okay, I got one in this area. Now I got to cut it so that I can bring it down to the next cluster and to the next cluster. And then I just keep adding stuff until I find, yep, yeah, that looks good. So that circle that I cut out, I ended up cutting it in two or three pieces and I just added it in three different clusters. And that pattern paper with all the triangles, I cut it in three spots or in three different ways and I cut it and I split it in the three different areas. So at this point I walked away and I decided to leave it in just so I can let you know, to remind you I guess, that I have a giveaway going on on my YouTube channel. And it's two or three videos back and it says giveaway and you can just go and look it up and or maybe I mentioned this already because it didn't seem long enough so I believe I already mentioned this sorry if I did because the recording stopped and I don't know uh, what I said but it seemed longer than that the first time so at this point I am ready to cut my die cuts and I when it comes it's all has a little piece of wire connecting everything so I just use my Tim Holtz scissors and I cut it apart and then I'm going to use it is post-it notes but it comes on the roll and I'm going to use it to glue down the dies to the page and the sandwich to for these types of dies is A which is the green plate B which is a thinner plate and then C which is a thicker plate because those dies are fairly thin and then I also bought a metal die which helps cut intricate dies so I'm just going to glue them all to the embossing plate and I just run it through and then I'm going to keep those post-it notes with each die so next time I'm ready to use it it's just there with it and instead of throwing it out every time and now I'm just going to figure out where I'm going to put those die cuts and I'm going to put some foam tape in behind most of them and I'm going to pop it up and the foam tape is from scotch and it comes in a huge roll and I bought it at custom crops and now I'm going to keep gluing everything down and one of the speech bubbles says hello and the other one has two little birds. And I'm also going to put some foam tape in behind the clouds. And this is where I decide to put that flare button and it's in, be, in between the clouds and that pattern paper. And there was an awkward gap there so I just added that there. I added some enamel dots. And now I'm going to choose my title and it's some basic gray letters that we got a few months ago and I totally forgot to use it that month so I keep it out and I use it now. I keep it on my desk so that I, I don't forget to use them. So the bag is almost half gone so I'm getting good use out of them. And the title is going to be Feeling Squirrely and I'm pretty sure squirrely is not a word but to me, that's how she was. She was just um, outside and the squirrel came right up to her and she was just, you know, let out a big scream for, for me to go and take some pictures of her right close to the squirrel. So I'm going to fuss with where the title is going to be and I decide to put it right there. And this alpha comes with a backing on it so you can move it around on your page without sticking down which I find ends up taking a little longer because once you put on the wax paper you can move around your title and not worry about it you know having to move each letter but this way you have to move each letter but it's still fairly fast and now I'm going to take out my glimmer glaze and someone asked me what was the stuff that I sprinkle on the page and it is from Tattered Angels. 
It's called Glimmer Glaze, and it comes in an array of colors, just all kinds of colors, and it is about $5 a bottle, but they'll, they'll last forever because it, it has a little brush on the end so that it makes it really easy to splatter. And another thing is um, Mr. Huey, if, if it's on anything shiny, it won't dry. Like even if it's been there forever, you can still wipe it off. This stuff dries on shiny stuff and it doesn't wipe off and it dries really quickly and it also is shiny. So I absolutely love it. And I got mine at Simon Says Stamps. So that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.